Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone captain, and today we're going to be talking about the Apple iPad and Mac event that took place today. We've really been anxious for this to happen, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the photos and things that were shown at the event today. As you see up on the screen right there, 200 million the first five days the iPhone 5 and 5S was on sale and they sold nine million over the first weekend. Those are astronomical figures, guys, if you think about it. I mean, you're just talking about a few days, even a few hours, if you're talking about the nine million devices that were sold that first weekend. And they're saying that 64% of the devices are running iOS 7 currently. That's a huge number as well. And 20 million listeners on the new iTunes radio that they just released with the new iPhone 5 and 5S. And they're saying that there's over a million applications available that's our catalog in the App Store. Guys, I don't know about you, but I think we all need to try to invent some type of app. 60 billion downloads that have come available through the App Store. I mean, guys, that's just unreal, these numbers are. Developers have earned $13 billion so far on apps. Now, let's go ahead with a little bit of an overview of the Mac. Maverick is going to be release today you'll be able to get it free and it won't cost you one penny and they say it doesn't matter what version of line or anything like that you're running that uh, you will be able to download Mavericks today they call it Mavericks with an S and talking about Mavericks software they will have a new version of the MacBook 13 and 15 inch coming out. The 13 inch will weigh only three, just under three and a half pounds guys. That's phenomenal. And only about three quarters of an inch thick. And they have improved battery life to allow up to nine hours of iTunes movie playback. So that's something that we've always needed. They're going to start the 13 inch at $12.99 not really much higher than it's already been you know I, I still was hoping it would come below a thousand but I don't guess it's going to the MacBook Air will be starting at 999 the 11 inch and the, 12, the 13 will be 1099 and the MacBook Pros are going to be the most expensive coming in at 2999 however they're going to have some very very fast uh, processors and hardware inside. Sorry about the dog, guys. And they say also that the uh, the new iLife has been reworked and all of the new iLife apps have been redone from the ground up, they say. So I'm excited to look at some of those. They didn't go into a lot of features because they just didn't have the time you can see there that the icons are different and they are going to be adding photo books to the iPad so if that's something that you've been wanting to have available on your iPad that is going to be an option that's going to be coming it's just been available on the Mac up until now and they have redesigned iMovie they've added a slow motion feature which is adding in the 5C I think than the 5S or maybe it's just the 5S, I don't know. And they say they so far have sold 170 million iPads. Uh, I'm sure that number will go up. And you see they got a little chart here showing the, the tablet usage for the normal, I don't say normal, for households. But you got 475,000 iPad applications available. And I'm sure a lot of those will be updated for the new iPad it's coming out and if I hadn't already given it away it's gonna be called the iPad Air 
They're naming it after the MacBook Air, I guess, simply because of the weight of the new iPad Air. And it's just going to be uh, something uh, phenomenal is, is the only word you can come up with. It's got an A7 processor. It's going to have all 64-bit uh, software running and all that stuff. And you can see here the CPU performance is eight times faster on the, the new iPad Air compared to the original iPad. And it's going to be twice as fast for opening applications. Just, you know, overall this new iPad is just going to be something to see, guys. The specs on it, if you want to take a look at some of those, the new uh, iPad Air, it's got a 5 megapixel eyesight camera, 1080p HD video, it has a new FaceTime HD camera with larger pixels, improved backside illumination, and dual microphones. We all know we need more sound with these tablets and the MacBook could stand it. It's going to be starting price at $499. So that didn't go up. That's something I was, you know, hoping wouldn't happen. But uh, you can get a 16 gig at 499. If you add cellular to it, you're going to be paying 629. So if you're wanting to put this with your cellular plan, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. The iPad 2 and the iPad Air comparison right here. You got $399 for the iPad 2 or a 499 for the iPad Air. Personally. I'd rather just spring the other hundred bucks, but there's times a hundred dollars is just not something that you can come up with. So, you know, if you're just starting somebody out, a young kid or something, iPad 2 is perfectly fine. And here's a shot at the Retina uh, iPad Air for 4 dollars right here. You got your iPad 2. And guys, that was pretty much it in about a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, Please hit that subscribe button before you leave and keep coming back.